It is a mistake to fancy that horror is associated inextricably with darkness, silence, and solitude. You are listening to Cthulhu and Friends, starring Fred. Where we are, and quite possibly when we are, I think that is important. Steph? Just an exorcist, because that's kind of really like my only specialty, and it's like my calling in life, you know? Mike? Have you ever marched to a bridge to line up for a job from the mother tree in a dream? I'm just saying. We're dead. It's the only thing that makes sense. Susie. Uh, before you weren't here when I was talking with them, but I don't. I only take drugs from my friends and people that I know through my friends. I don't want to put that in my mouth. But thank you for the offer. I appreciate it. And your game master, Veronica. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cthulhu and Friends. I am your game master, Veronica, and my pronouns are she, they. Hi everyone, it's Fred, and I play Thurston, and our pronouns are he, him. Hey everyone, Mike Lane here. I'm playing Jimmy Redfield, and my pronouns are he, him. And I'm Steph. I'm playing Lucy Rosewood, and our pronouns are she, her. I'm Susie, and I play Regina, and our pronouns are she, her. Man, we're pros. Nailed it. Nailed it. First Man. take. <laughs> All right, outro that was time. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, All right, let's break out the script. Oh, let's let's do this. <laughs> Okay, so um, it is time. Is it is it roll luck on? Eat? Yes, it I is. Know. Yeah, because say yes. Okay. We weren't going to roll luck last time, but it was the next episode for Thurston and Lucy. So what does that mean? So they did. rolled luck. So they rolled luck, oh. meaning that no one should be rolling luck this time. I mean, if that's how you want to play it, yes. Episodes rolling. Oh, God. God. <laughs> what if, yeah. What if we do like two players one week and then two players the next week? But then I have to read the luck. I can't rules even remember week. this one. <laughs> you want? Me I to- think we should just roll luck every week, and then we don't have to worry about which <laughs> week we're on or off. Well, if you guys would use your luck more, then we could do that again. Deal. But no one does. I just don't roll I, much. I okay. use luck all the time. <laughs> I feel like I can't be blamed for this. <laughs> See, look, the, the chat's asking for it. So who are we oh. to withhold these mm-hmm. beautiful luck rolls from them? I mean, we're here for them. It's true. I'm a withholding bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, D. Martin no. G. Thank you, though. Thank you for trying. <laughs> Thanks for trying to yeah. support us. <laughs> uh, don't be an idiot. <laughs> this will never happen. Uh, yeah, so you're not going to roll luck, but I am going to thank these amazing patrons. Thank you so much to Dave Campbell, Amelia Zuckerman, Yorin Hatink, Jennifer Gatlin, Brom, Dosker, Michael Macy, Martin Olt, Melissa S., John Schaefer, Steph. Ooh, Steph. Oh, Steph. Um, you know I know how to say your last name. But I have forgotten. I'm so sorry. Zoridian, Cypher, John, Taylor Beaver, Jonathan Kant, and Lazy Tortoise. Thank you so much. For the record, that wasn't me, Steph. She knows how to say my last name. Okay, I was like, so it doesn't. It's, yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Steph's last name is Steph Any. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, all my names that's are actually contained. Pretty close. Yeah, like, if all you my think names about are contained it, in my other names. If so. you take the second half of mm-hmm. her first name, it's technically her last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Now I can't unsee it. Right? Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. But you know what's even better? My middle name is Anne. So, Stephanie, Stephanie, Anne. They named you Stephanie Anne Haney. Yeah. I'm just going to call you Step Haney from now on. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. 
<laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I got to be original. <laughs> well, I felt like I was being, and then this. it would be funny though if your yeah. middle name was Step. <laughs> Step. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie Step Haney. <laughs> That would have been better. Yes. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. pretty original. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, <sighs> Stephanie Stepaney? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> this happened to us, so. Oh, but I think you wanted me to show this off. Oh. <gasps> V sent me this really cool thing. Watch. And if you Oh, put it over more. Uh, uh, put it. Uh, there yeah. we go. Okay. It's a it's a ace of spades. And then ace if you open spades. it. Ace of spades. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's so Man. cool. And it has a uh, uh UV to check I sorry. To oh, check that's IDs that's and, awesome. and bills <laughs> and stuff. Or just to shine in people's eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Self-defense. Just to blind people. I want you to be safe in the city, in the wilderness. You've got everything you need to succeed. Yeah. I mean, you do, yeah. but it isn't because of me. <laughs> um, I just got you clutter, essentially. You're going to be like the clutter. coolest guy in the apocalypse. You're going to break mm-hmm. that out. They're going to be yeah. like, fire! <laughs> Yeah, he's got fire. Everybody's gonna follow you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> now what? Yeah, where um, were we? What happens? Can, yeah, can we have a little reminder? Okay. Of what happened? Does Mike do the recap? So here's what happened. <laughs> oh, I was thinking that's a great idea. Mike, can you give it us up to date? <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, I, I remember we <laughs> showed up somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Thurston and Lucy walked into that portal and came out the other end and some petals somebody got shot and turned into petals and then um, Regina slid down into a hole and popped into the weird world and I no that's incorrect she fell out from underneath a vehicle oh, okay. onto a, a, I thought it, like, a pile I thought of it, petals like, twisted or something I don't know it was different in my head. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> different, but wrong. And then I got pushed into a into a door frame, but oh, then like fell great. down into nothingness and landed in Wang Doodle Land, Aww. where everything is crazy. And yeah, there's a lot of pedals, and there's a lot of people bitching about other people being lazy. And yes. we're, my character thinks we're all dead. Um and then we were told to go stand in this big line on a bridge to this tree where we get assigned a job or something. But we somehow got into this thing and talked to somebody and it turned out to be none other than Nighthawk who brought us back to her oh. house. Yes. Or their house. Sorry. And yeah. that's the last thing I remember. Well, that's true. That's what happened. Um, the other thing that you may have forgotten to uh, to add into your recap is that you went to um, Nighthawk's house, but Nighthawk had had you know up until that point when they revealed themselves as Nighthawk to you was wearing a Ronald Reagan mask. <laughs> Pulled that off. Yes. So felt like that was I pretty important that. as a nod <laughs> to um, Halloween, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then Nighthawk took you to their hobbit hole and oh, yeah. that's where we left. Um, so, and Nighthawk was extremely interested in studying the manuals that, uh, Regina had oh, because right. they have oh, always yes. had a long interest uh, in uh, uh, <laughs> trucks. Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> that's where we left it does everyone feel confident like they could just mm, I'm gonna go into that hobbit hole I'm gonna fuck it up real good wait what are we doing <laughs> that wasn't my initial plan I, I, mean, just, yeah. Yeah. I was I planning on fucking that. up a hobbit hole but... mm-hmm. if I somebody know. else wants to for part, it's for party judge. business I'll guys. enter the hole for sure <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody? Nobody? I'm just saying, I keep getting set up here. What? <laughs> hey, uh. And I'm going to. Phrasing. Come down. <laughs> uh, so good. Okay. I would also enter love. <laughs> just want to be cool. Um, so Nighthawk, uh, opens the mm-hmm. door with the, with the handle, with the doorknob in the middle and <laughs> let me know what you do. Well, I, I, is that my accent? I, I don't remember. Uh, maybe, um, should we go in? Uh, are we not in already? Didn't we? That's what she said. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> well, it'd be best if we I... went inside and got off the streets. Yeah. Maybe we could collect ourselves and go over the information we have and maybe talk to this Nighthawk person. Yeah, maybe we can get some more information because so far I don't really know what's going on. Yeah, more information will be good. Uh, Nighthawk, do you want us to take our boots off before we go in? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would actually be super okay. awesome. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, like put them right here. Yes, right here in this tray where all of my boots okay. are. Is it okay if I set my tool bag down here and this creeper that I've been carrying around inconveniently? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Watch your head. It's a little short in here. Yeah. It's okay. It's nice. Um, anyway, uh, it is very nice. Um, it's exactly the way that I had always imagined it, so that was pretty cool. Huh. Mm -hmm. You'd imagine the place before you got here? Yeah, you know, like, from literature and stuff? Well, yeah, like, I mean, I'm familiar but you, okay. did you build this place right. to like after? Oh no! Uh, so like the mother tree, uh-huh. like I did a job for the mother tree, and then I turned in my token, like because you know you get a token when you do a good job and you do good girl, good boy, good day uh-huh. stuff. And then they gave you this house, and then the mother tree said, "Okay, I'll give you what you're looking for." I mean, not exactly in that tone. I'm not very good with accents. The, okay. So the tree talks. Is the tree possessed? No, I mean, like, the tree doesn't talk, okay. but, like, the spirits within it do. So it, it is possessed with spirits. I don't know about that. Like, okay. I'm not really into... No, uh, are we talking about people here, or are, are you talking about, like, ghosts? Spirits. Or like demons. Yes, exactly. It could be. Sure I they still were think we're tree. dead. And, um, you know, it doesn't really matter what we do. But if this tree's granting wishes for a good job, I, I'll just wish to go home. That is fair. Why, you let us away from the tree. But for Why? Because uh, you had the the book of trucks, well, yeah. I was really interested in working more on that. Oh, okay, because you made it seem like it was bad that we went to the tree. But if you got a good token coin for going to the tree and doing the job, shouldn't we just go to the tree and do the job? I feel like maybe you're putting a lot of that on me, and you're not really being accountable for your own part in getting to my heart. I mean, that's fair. I definitely came here consensually, which I think is important and appreciated. But I also just, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming still. Um, I just, I don't know. I haven't had to talk this much in a dream. Normally, I just start falling and. Well, there you go. I mean, I mean, like. Did you fall? I did. <laughs> oh. Wait. What? If you if you fall, you'll mm-hmm. wake up, right? I mean, I, I push f- Regina. Ow! <laughs> Why would you do that? That hurt. See, not a dream. We're dead. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a dream because we walked through a portal to get here. I didn't, though. I fell. I mean, that's normally how the dreams end, but. 
There's no way we're dead. Is every- That'd be crazy. Mm. Is everyone in the house? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And I took off my shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Who didn't? Uh, yeah, that's actually a great, <laughs> great point. Who all took off their shoes? Just so I can keep track of who is a good person. <laughs> Wow, that was a very hesitant hand raise. Everyone, <laughs> everyone raised their look, hands. They had $300 that's, that's shoes. I not want to, you know, lose them, but I understand it's quite rude to wear them in a house, so I followed $300? suit. $300? In 1936, $300? Those shoes were They're 20 bucks. Italian leather. All right. I, I think you got robbed. Okay. I think whoever sold you those shoes <laughs> was a liar because those look silly and ridiculous. Well, you have to understand they're handmade. It's Aren't all shoes? They... Wait, what? I guess that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, they're made from the finest leather, you see. And uh, as you can see, they're designs and it's uh, from a... Famous Italian artisan, and anyways, uh, this let's uh, let's worry about the matter at hand. Um, Nighthawk, is there? Do you have a any tea or anything? I, I think I do my best sit and think while having a spot of tea. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, well, uh, come come into the den, come into the den, and uh, well, y- please, is good sir. And Nighthawk, like, changes their demeanor toward you and acts kind of like a butler um, and drapes this little tea towel over their arm and brings you to a a big fluffy chair. Um, And and would you would you like to put your feet up, sir? Uh, Well, I don't mind if I do. Uh, Thank you, old chap. This is quite wonderful. Okay, well, uh, everybody... um, well, we can rule out that we are not dreaming, as we saw with uh, Regina and the pain that she accrued and she did not wake up. But it's quite possible we could be dead. Is that it? How do we tell if we're not dead? I Should I, I... I don't think we're dead. Stab somebody with a dagger and see if it hurts? Oh, no. No. Nighthawk produces a dagger. Wait, hold, hold on. Nighthawk, how did you get here? Did you go through a portal or fall or whatever it is Jimmy did? I think that I was not supposed to be here. And all of a sudden, Nighthawk is looking out into this, like, mid-space. I think that I saw my brother die, and I was here to be witness. Yes, that sounds right. Okay, um, I'm going to go and make some tea for everyone. Would anyone like a a spot of biscuit? Yeah, I'll, t- I'll, I'll take a biscuit. Yeah. Sure. Nighthawk walks out. Lucy, for your information, I fell too. Oh, okay. So we got two for portal, two for falling. Um, well, could it be possible if they fell through a portal? I, I would assume we all came through a portal. Oh, right. Maybe it was like a horizontal portal and you just like went down instead of like through. I mean, I guess anything's possible, right? I don't. I, I know we're not. There's no way that we're dead. That's that's really the one thing that I can't stress enough. I just don't think that I'm dead. I feel like I, that, that wouldn't hurt so much when you push me if I was dead. Or maybe your body's just used to pain. I mean, that's not wrong. Uh, that logic seems weird to me. <laughs> All right, um, so you two, you you... You found a portal? Well, it appeared, like, on the beach after there's that giant monster and everything, and, like, it, it, and it, Satan what? died, quick, and it was com- really oh, hard. Lucy, please, uh, no need to complicate things. Uh, yes, we did come through a portal, but uh, the manner of which we came across this portal is a quite a long story, and it would probably take more than tea, probably some whiskey. 
I'm going to reach into my bag and hold out a bottle to Thurston, and it's labeled holy water. <laughs> Ooh, uh, it's not whiskey, but it's vodka, if that's okay. Oh, got it. Holy oh, so- the Russian sense. Does that mean we get a story time? You're going to explain what you meant by Satan dying and a monster on a beach? Was was that your... Wait, no. Never mind. I mean, I don't really know how much further to explain it. That was what happened. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, well, to, to make a long story short, I came across this group here and... Uh, in my pursuits of learning the occult and arcane arts, I uh, we stumbled across um, Satan and an adversary of his, and a great battle ensued, and upon defeating them, a uh, portal arose. As our companions were dead at that point, we felt it was... <laughs> well, I don't know why we thought it would be a good idea to jump through this portal, but we did, and here we are. In this blessed, flowery world where everything is backwards. So, let me get this straight. You killed Satan. Like, the no. Satan. Oh, oh my god. Why would we kill him? No, he was killed. He was? Okay. I, I wouldn't kill my beloved Satan. That's just silly. T- 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 oh my god. T- t- oh, gee, now these people are kind of weird. Yeah, they're kind of weird. Are you sure that maybe you... Maybe you just weren't, maybe you were on like a weird drug trip. Like maybe you just took too many drugs while you were playing like Dungeons and Dragons that came out in 1974. Maybe it. Wait. Are you from the future? No. Did you say 1974? I don't. Yeah. Have we discussed years with each other yet? (laughs) I I don't believe we have. No, because you guys were probably just playing Dungeons and Dragons and smoking some really dope herb. And that's I mean, gotta be. I do be... have some herbs too, if you want some. But you do. I... What do you have? Oh, here. I mean, I'm it, just, you know, just some, some to make you like relax, and some to. Well, I'm not gonna know, make like take them unless you and... tell me what they are specifically, because we're not really that close yet. And I, like I said before, I only take drugs from my friends. Okay. Um. um but I, maybe, I like, it, it, yeah. I mean, you the, don't know. The, the, you the should names, know. I mean, I, I don't. I kind of lost track. Well, oh, hold on. It, let, wow. Let's just take it back a notch. Um, what year was our last season in? 1936. It is quite impossible for you to state that you're from 1974. As I'm not from is... 1974, but Dungeons and Dragons is. And I don't know why I felt the need to add that in, oh, but it seemed important at got the time. It. Well, it, uh, you know that it is 1930. <laughs> yeah, Okay. Sure, buddy. Uh, no, it, it is. I think no. <laughs> you might be the one no. taking drugs. Have you been taking I mean, drugs no, without I us paying attention? Pretty, I was pretty upfront and honest about that from the beginning. Did you hit your I'm, head when you fell? I'm sober now. I did hit my head. Yeah, oh, but I know that, that it's not 1930 sense. because that's ridiculous. It's- whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I remember I looked at a newspaper when I woke up the last day in Las Vegas and it was 1954. This uh, you're all wrong. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no. I think maybe you two are from the future, and maybe this place is like also the future. Maybe we're all really far in the future, where it's just a world of flowers. Or we died, and time is different here. Ding. Did you hear that? It was Who said that. Was that the tea? That's heavy. <laughs> uh, Does it normally whistle? Is that the doorbell? I, I maybe don't know. we're in the future. Maybe so. I, don't, I really don't think this is the future. I think I this thought. is just something else completely. <laughs> so, like a I dream. Mean, dream. I guess or it's possible. Drug there trip. were some crazy things on the beach. I guess it's possible we got. Yeah. Everyone rolls spot. <laughs> I would love to. Two D tens. I'm gonna re- remember how to do this. Oh God! So high numbers are bad, right? 
<laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm so <laughs> bad. <laughs> okay. I still don't remember how this goes. My spot hidden's a 90. I got 88. Oh, okay. So you oh, passed. Okay, great. You passed. You okay. under, under your score. Good. That's good. So I'm good. I rolled a 21. Oh. And my spot hidden's a 45. Over. So it's a hard success. Okay. I rolled a 68 out of 60, so I'm going to use eight luck points to make that a success. Okay, that's great. I unfortunately rolled a 69, and uh, nice. I nice. have no spots hidden, so I am quite distracted by all this talk of future different timelines. So um, Thurston is sitting kind of like a... Caddy corner from the, uh, let me start all over. So Thurston is sitting sort of beside the fireplace, but he's turned in such a way that like he's not ever facing it. And you all are having this conversation and it's very heated, very intense, very confusing for all of you. And, um, Lucy and Regina both kind of like at a very similar time. Um, nope. Sorry. I forgot that Steph had a hard success. Um, so Lucy begins gazing into the fire with all of the talk of Satan and Regina's eyes eventually follow hers. And you notice that the flames have died down significantly. And by the time Jimmy notices, they're simply embers glowing in the fireplace. And Thurston continues on, um, asking more que- one more question. Well, uh, there is a popular theory about parallel universes. It's quite possible maybe we have shifted into another version of our world. That could explain why we're all from different timelines, but, well, it's a lot to absorb. Where where is Nighthawk with that? Nighthawk Uh, with that tea? Nighthawk, do you need help keeping this fire going? You don't hear a response from Nighthawk. I'll go check on them. That's weird. They, I mean, this place can't be that big. They should be able to hear us. I want to go to the kitchen. Great. Uh, You get into the kitchen and you see lots of flour, sugar, um, you know, all sorts of things just strewn about. And there is a kettle on the uh, on the on the wood burning uh, stove. And it does seem to be kind of warming some water. Nighthawk. 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 Huh. Yeah. What? Where? Where? Hi. Where are you? Where were you? you? Sorry, I was just getting my cake out of the oven. What do you think? Of the cake? Yes. Uh, it, it looks great. Looks like a cake for sure. Okay, I'm going to put it out so it can cool. Okay. You, did you hear us yelling for you? We, we kind of maybe thought that... You, like, disappeared and fell through a portal. Because <laughs> that's what apparently no, keeps happening. that isn't what happened. No? Uh, there's only one way in and out of the house, so you would have absolutely seen me leave if I had left. Oh, okay. Um, the fire in the other room is kind of uh, nothing anymore. Do you have more wood that we could throw on that? And the fire's out already? Right, it's, uh, yeah. It was, you okay? <laughs> Why? Oh, I just didn't realize that the fire had already gone out. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm such a stupid, stupid girl. No, you're no, you're not stupid. It's okay. I mean, I, I'm. We're here to help. You just point me in the way the wood is, and I'll do this. No, you go sit down, and I will bring the. I can wood. help. Don't even I worry like- about it. No, I don't need your help. Okay, I'll go sit down. I go, I go, I go sit back down. Everyone just stay exactly where you are and no one move because I'm going to be bringing tea by very shortly and it will be sugary and it will be sweet.
wonderful. When the fire went out, was that the only light in the room? It did get um more dim, but it is still daylight out. Okay. So um not yeah, th- there is some light coming from the window, not okay. dark for okay. sure. Do do I notice the fire at this point? Yeah, I mean everyone has looked at it and mentioned that the fire's do, gone do out. Do I feel like it was unnatural for the fire to go out like that? I mean, typically unless we're looking at you know, maybe dying embers. The the flame should have gone for a while. <clears throat> it sure should have. Um, why don't you roll me a natural world? I... And actually, anyone other than Regina can roll a natural world. I'll join in on this. Yep. <laughs> Jimmy's like, I'll, I'll, I'll catch some of this so, action. <laughs> my natural world says 10% next to it, but there is <laughs> nothing on the number. So is it just 10? Okay. It's just 10 so, then. Mm-hmm. Luckily, I rolled a 17, and I will use seven luck points to make it a 10. Okay. Okay. Great. I, I rolled a 13 out of 10, so I'm going to use three luck points to make that a success. Okay. I rolled a 67 out of 50. Oh, your natural is high. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use any luck because I think I'm just kind of looking around and gauging, like, do I think it'll get dark soon? Should I be, like, getting my flashlight out of my bag? Just, like, kind of mentally preparing myself. Okay. Are you walking around the room? Mm, or are you still in your I chair? I'm still in my chair, but looking around the room. Okay. Thurston and Jimmy, you, you know, kind of shift in your chair. And Jimmy, you have like crossed one leg over the other. And um, you notice that your foot has like not only gone like fallen asleep, but is like so far asleep that it just feels absolutely numb. Uh, Thurston, you have some pain at the in your lower back, and like you just kind of shift in your chair, and it feels like you have been sitting there for a very, very long time, much longer than the maybe 10, 15 minute uh, discussion you felt like you had. I would like to take the pocket watch out of my pocket, and I want to see what time it is. Okay. What time is it? Uh, so the cool. clock is stopped. The hands are not spinning. Well, that is quite... Did you wind oh, it? Wind it? I... I'm just wondering if you're a person that well, wants to watch. Well, I absolutely do. It's, uh, well, it's never stopped on me before. That's quite odd. I'm going to wind it now. And does it come back to life? It does not. <laughs> hmm. Well, Jimmy, old chap, you might be onto something. You mentioned that time acts oddly here. Did you notice the passage of time as well? Um, well... I'm not really sure, but my my foot is sure asleep. Do you have a watch on you or some way to track time? Well, no. Regina, you hear all of this. You, mm-hmm. Everyone can kind of come into this now if they'd uh, like. Regina, would you happen to have a device to track time on you? Uh, uh no. Sorry, no watch. Normally we just, you know, have clocks up in the shop. I just look at every time I get a watch, I break it because I get stuck in a engine. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't uh, ask you, Lucy. I, would you have a watch or device? Uh, I I don't have a watch, but do you think maybe it might be close to sunset? I just like I'm not a fan of the dark, and I'm i'm just gonna go check the window like it's since no you, your watch isn't working i just want to i'll be right back v do i feel hungry Ooh. like we noticed the passage of time or something like it am i like 
really hungry or thirsty or anything like that. Yeah, you certainly uh, feel as though your mouth is is dry. Um, you, you might feel a little bit peckish. When I look out the window, does the sun look high in the sky? No, it looks to be lower. More orange. The sky, purple. Streaks of orange and yellow. I don't know what time um, we got here. Mr. Gina. Yeah, yeah, Night Hawk. I, I, I made a truck. What? I made a truck. Oh. Well, Just, like, a cake, like a cake truck? You made a... No, like a real live truck, dummy. <laughs> you were only gone for like 15 minutes. That's... Okay. Right. Well. No, I mean, uh, I I would love to see this truck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And Nighthawk brings out a cake that looks like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That does. You know, it looks spot on. Does everybody want a bite of this truck? <laughs> Also, here's your oh, tea, sir. Good. I was about to ask about the tea. <laughs> I mean, you can't have cake without tea. We're not uncivilized. You can. No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, how how sure. is the tea? High or low for favorable <laughs> results? Always low. <laughs> Always low. It's pretty good. Oh. I mean, it's not great. <laughs> I pour... But it's pretty good. A lot of milk and sugar in it. Uh, well, An offensive amount. I I stare at Regina, horrified. Mm. Lots of cream and sugar, huh? Basically like a hot milk. <laughs> it's just become like a <laughs> like a thick paste. Like just <laughs> from the amount of sugar. No. It's like the sugar's not dissolving anymore. Uh-uh. Uh. No. It's definitely on the bottom. It's yeah. No. It's good. It's this is really good tea and cake. Cake is really it good. Is, it's much better with the uh, with mother's breast milk. <laughs> what? Uh, mother's milk. Yeah, like yeah. from the like from the tree. <laughs> well, the mother trees. Mother's mother. Mother's it's breast milk. <laughs> it's, That's I'm, where all the milk is from here. I uh like a cow. There are, there are nipples. Okay, well a lot of things have nipples. Uh, like uh, most <laughs> things. <laughs> I've got so, nipples. Can you fuck me? <laughs> Or milk me. Sorry. What? Uh, I I'm very confused. Are you saying that the milk comes from a tree? Or yeah, it's kind of like you know, like a like an alternative milk. Oh, kind of like s- syrup. Is that that comes from trees, right? Oh, um, I was not raised in a syrup house. Oh, I'm sorry. They they had some at the convent where I was raised. Um, what time does the sun set around here? Do you know, like, what time it is? Oh, yeah. The sun usually sets at sunset. <laughs> that honestly makes sense. That checks out. Right. And is that, like, soon? And and do you have like a lot of lights we could turn on? Um. Well, <laughs> Miss Lucy, I am living in my own fantastic Hobbit house under the ground. I only have candles. And when it is time to light the candles, I will get around on my little step stool and I will light each one. Okay, good. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's yeah. That makes me I'm feel not a lot better. A freak. Oh God, I didn't think you were. I just have this thing with the dark. 
You don't like the dark? I don't like the dark because I don't like what might be in the dark. Mm. But isn't it the same thing that's in the light? That is a solid point. You get a headlight. <laughs> I, say, I think I have a flashlight in my tool bag. You want me to go oh, grab I it do. for you? I I do too, and I have a lighter, and I have some candles in my bag. I've, I'm well prepared. I just like to know that I have backup plans. That's understandable. I've I guess. seen things. Do you want a headlight or a tail light, Miss Lucy? Uh, take the tail light. <laughs> I'll do it. Tail light, sure. Hot. Gives you a tail light. Um, Mr. Thurston. <laughs> he, he strikes me as a rear end kind of guy. Oh, cheerio, sir. Chop, chop. And he gives you the tailgate. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you, Nighthawk. Uh, this tea is quite fantastic. Uh, I will definitely be utilizing you as uh, an aid for my tea times, and uh, hopefully you can help me and, uh, you know, attend to my needs, of course. Of course. Why'd you word um, it like that? Yeah. That's so that weird. weird. <laughs> you, right? That's stranger. Yeah. I am hiring Nighthawk no, for his services. Oh, um... I, I, why? You can't just hire people. What do you What do you mean? You don't have tokens to give out, so you can't get a job. Apparently, really? the tree well, hires people. So, well, uh, Night Talk, how would I procure some of these tokens? As you say, uh, I mean, I have plenty you of tokens. Get to a hot tub, dummy. I'm sorry. Hot tubs. Hot tubs. <laughs> you go to the hot tub, and that's where you get the tokens. Oh, that's way easier than getting a job. Let's do that. Yeah. But the thing is, how do you find a hot tub? Pfft. Smart. Hey, you know what hot tubs are. Night Hawk, we were talking earlier, and um, these guys think that they're from the 1930s. These two. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and he yeah thinks I mean, they kind of look like it. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Thank what you. What you're saying makes sense. Yeah, well, I'm from the 70s, 1970s. Uh, I didn't allegedly. think that I would have to specify that. Uh, not allegedly. This is, I know, I'm. Do you, are you calling me stupid? I, I know what I year I'm from. I think he's calling you a liar, but I mean. Okay, well, that seems like a really stupid thing to lie about. But Nighthawk, are you from, where, what, what time are you from? Because that's apparently that a thing here. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very solid question. One that I'm very glad that you've asked. Uh, high or low for favorable results? Mm. Hi. I'm um, from 1989. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, you know. It's a, it's a Taylor Swift album. It's, uh, it's who's a Taylor what? Swift? Uh, well, she's like a, an artist. And um, basically, dream me into being, I guess. Taylor Swift? Uh, I mean, Swift? it kind of sounds like a superhero. Could be. Uh, Miss Regina, did you want a piece of my cake? I would love a piece of cake. Can I have um, the driver's side light? Headlight? Yep. Thanks. God, the attention to detail on this thing is awesome. Yeah. It's like uh, a superhero that sews things quickly. Okay, everyone tell me <laughs> what flavor you think the cake is on the count of three. Okay, take a bite. Um. Now, everyone whisper what you think the flavor of the cake is. What's it taste like? On that count of three. Confetti. Like right now. On the count oh, of three. Oh, like right now. One. Two. Three. Confetti. Chocolate. Boysenberry. Red velvet. That's right. That's right. You see, Wait. when you're here, your dreams come true. It's exactly everything that you've ever wanted. Wait. Don't you like that? What, what did you guys say? 
Are you saying it is a dream? I said chocolate. It tastes, it tastes like confetti cake. It tastes amazing. It's uh, boysenberry. Oh, it's absolutely. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it was absolutely Sounds not fake. that. <laughs> it does. <laughs> no, it, is this actually a dream then? If we dream things and they become... I Real. for sure wouldn't be dreaming about drinking anybody's mother's milk, but that's just me. And this tastes good, but not a dream that I've had that I can remember. I feel like I would have remembered that one. Okay, so if if Satan died in 1936, mm-hmm. maybe that like unleashed the the hordes of hell or or uh you know, like set some prophecy in motion, and uh, oh. and then like people fell in here when time <sighs> collapsed or something. Everyone roll constitution. Oh God! <laughs> oh. Oh no, my dump stat. <laughs> all of my dice i feel like are built to roll really well and i want them to not roll well oh can we use luck on this uh yeah i guess you could okay i rolled a one okay <laughs> i got a 48 out of 75 i have a 76 over 70 so not good i got a 57 out of 50 okay great so I could use some luck. Marisha? I, 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 I'll. Okay. No, maybe. I, I will not. Okay. I will fail my constitution. <laughs> no, you can do whatever you want. You can try. I've been using anything. a lot of luck. Peer pressure. All right, then I'm just going to use some luck. 50 out of 50. Thurston, you feel very sleepy and you start to nod off. And everyone else is kind of talking. You hear Jimmy talking about being dead again. And your eyes sort of like plop out of your head and onto your lap. And you just think like, that's weird. Um, But now you have the ability to control your eyeballs. Where would you like them to go? What a horrible question. <laughs> um, do I feel like, like, can, do they react to my eyes? No. And to everyone else, you watch as Thurston takes a big bite of cake, takes a sip of his tea, and then, you know, just kind of old man style, just sort of cozies into his chair and kind of just, he's just resting his eyes. He's not asleep, of course. Just resting his eyes. Poor old man. I will take a quick cursory look around the Hobbit house, starting with the kitchen. Do I th- see anything untowards? Um, as your eyeballs roll into the kitchen, um, they come to a little obstacle as the hardwood floor kind of meets some raised cobblestone. And so you roll your eyes back really fast and then roll them forward really fast and boop, boop, you're up on the cobblestones and you're roving around into the kitchen where there is so much powder and you feel like you need to get into some water because your eyes are getting very goopy. Do I see any <laughs> kind of liquid around? Like, can I not lift my eyes up like a magic eye spell? Am I just rolling my eyes on the ground? So far, you've not tried anything. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid getting like turning my eyes into dough balls, I will try to lift them up off the ground. <laughs> All right. What what stat are you gonna use for this? <laughs> A cult. Okay. I will cast some uh, arcane. Eye cult. Hey, <laughs> that is a 32 out of 93. Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> All right. So um you how would you imagine yourself uh wanting to get your eye off the floor are you wanting it to float are you wanting uh for it to sprout wings and turn yeah. into little eye bats yeah you could do that <laughs> yeah let's do that okay 
and suddenly your eyes have wings, little bat wings, and you are flying around the kitchen. And now that your eyes um, kind of have these wings to get around, you can actually rove them around in different ways so that you can like see from different angles the same thing at the same time. Are there any clocks here? Um, as you look around the the Hobbit hole, um, you do see that there are some cuckoo clocks. Is the time passing or has time stopped on these as well? No, time is passing just fine here. Just click, click, click right along. I observe for a couple of seconds. Do I feel like the passage of time is quickened or slower than what I am used to? Um, it does seem now that the passage of time is like it always has been. And then all of a sudden, this huge uh, red bird just like comes at your little bat face and you like are a little bit stunned as there's this cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. I and then it. Pops right back. I will definitely avoid that clock going forth. Um, I'll I'll keep looking around. I just want to kind of get a lay of the land to see if there's anything crazy that comes out of me. Okay. Um, so as you fly your bat eyes around, um, you get kind of stuck at this point where the door is closed. So you go down a hallway and you see like lots of little corridors and little rooms, but they're all shut. Can I fly underneath a gap in the doorway and the floor? You can try anything. I do so. Um, as you try to wiggle underneath the gap in the door, you um, you get this like sense of pressure as the whole the cap is just a little too small for you to get through and you feel this horrible scratching of your cornea and then all of a sudden it's completely dark the one eye has just gone out it seems but i still have the one eye that didn't go through yes i get close to the door do i see if it's just like stuck there or is there no light coming from underneath the door is that why you you look through this little keyhole and you're just sort of like fluttering there and you see a cat as it hops onto a table and it starts kind of basking in the warm light of the sun as it kind of cascades through the window. The last bit of light before sunset and it's playing with your little bat eyeball it's got the little wings just snip between its teeth and it's trying to let you fly off but then it bats you back down a fun little treat do i feel like i have the ability to cast any spells at this point you can try anything I would like to create an illusion of like a mouse in the corner of the room to distract the cat so I could escape its clutches. Okay. I always forget. I get a bonus die, so I get to roll an extra die. Noish. Uh, okay, so that is – how does that work? Do I roll the 10 die and choose the mm -hmm. lower? Okay, okay. So That's that correct. I the wrong one. Okay, so that is a 43 out of 93. That would be a hard success. Okay. Um, you see a little mouse that um, kind of goes right under that gap. No problem. Um, and the cat does – get distracted by this this little uh mouse in the corner 
but it does not let you go. It does clamp down hard on the eyeball itself and the little wings of your bat are just fluttering as though it has a cute little cat bat mustache and um, just <sighs> and it corners this little mouse. And it pulls back. And it lurches forward. But as it does so, it bites down hard on your eye. Lucy, Jimmy, and Regina, you see as Thurston flips forward in his chair. And there is blood gushing down the right side of his eye and he is holding on to his eye as though something horrific has happened. And as he pulls his hand away, you see that there is just this gaping hole where it looks like something has clawed out his eye completely. And his other eye is looking around in absolute horror, terror, just rushing over his face. Well, ah, well. What the <laughs> heck? Did somebody stab me in the eye? I lost yeah. my accent too. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with your no, face? I, I, are you? Are you? And your eyes missing? Do you need help? God, Just put pressure on uh, it. Please, Can I somebody. Talk to you? I, um, I'll get some. I'll get some water. <laughs> Are you, uh, you, are you being Hawk, like, attacked by a spirit? Well, well I, 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 I seem to have lost sight. Uh, well, at least maybe one of my eyes. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I, you I were literally just, just sleeping. Having, it's y- super bloody. Uh, yes, I was having the most peculiar dream. Oh, can, can somebody... Do, 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 do I have like a scratch on my eye? Can anybody you, tell me what's going on? You don't have an eye. What do you scratch. mean I don't have an eye? No, I don't know. I don't I don't want to look at it. So, uh, <laughs> That's uh, really gross. This is this is going to sound <sighs> incredibly strange. Can somebody go down the hall two doors to the right? There's a cat What? Eating my eye. No. Ha- Please. Oh, what? Ha- I, Save I, my eye. I will head down the hall per his directions. Okay, you do this thing. Uh, There is a door there. Uh, Do you want to open it? Yes. Yeah, you open it and there's a cat in there for sure. Is it eating anything? Uh, It does look like there is a bat like that it was eating. um, And it seems to be like darting around and, you know, like how cats do, like they saw a bug or something and they're like, no, I got it. And it's uh, it is absolutely chewing on some bat wings, but. No, I for sure. I back out of the room and shut the door. Okay. And I return to the table. Lucy, do you you have anything to like put on his eye? Like, I don't. um, I just know that you're supposed to apply pressure to stuff like that. Like, here's a cool compress. Oh, good. That. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. I I can. I can. Check if there's spirits around. What? Is that you, Jimmy? I don't know. How is that going to help? Jimmy, hold chap. Did you find my eye? Uh, No. There's, um, there was a cat. And it it was eating a bat. So, no eye, though. Yeah, I, I... I, this is going to sound incredibly strange, but the bats get, get me the bats, please. Oh, oh, all right. Thank you for the compress. It's it is it is soothing. The fact that I'm missing an eye is there. Nighthawk, where's the doctor? Can you call somebody? Do they make house visits? Does Thurston um, have a, a handkerchief in like his pocket? Because he's all dressed up, I mean, up, he right? does, but he's got a like cool a compress. Square? Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it out. Yeah, and then I'm gonna okay. head back to the room. That's it fair. just continues in a continuous. Oh my- <laughs> <laughs> what? I, uh, uh, I just rip off the end. There's like okay. <laughs> five linked like handkerchiefs just hanging down from his pocket as he's holding this wet compress <laughs> over his left eye as he is just kind of like in a 
agonized moan cry. I'm going to impulsively grab the rest of the (laughs) handkerchiefs because I'm anxious and I don't know what to do with my hands. So I'm just going to keep pulling them. Uh, It is continuous. um, What is is this? Can I roll a psychology and see if I feel like Thurston's having a nervous breakdown? A psychology and not a first aid. I do not know first aid. Okay. All right. (laughs) I like that you wouldn't even try. Uh, Yeah, you can roll a psychology. Lucy doesn't think that way. (laughs) Um... Okay. Hail Satan. Well, I do have first exactly. aid. Exactly. Maybe he's just looking needs at medicine. a little Satan in his life. Um, that's a 29 out of 88. So hard success. He seems to be in distress. <clears throat> like distress because of his wound or distress because <laughs> he's because of the spirit. That his eye is a bat in the other room or. Definitely. I think. As the GM, but Thurston <laughs> can let me know. But I think he's most distressed over the fact that his goddamn eye is missing and the fucking fucks that are in the room with them don't seem to give a shit. I give, I give a Wait, shit. I give a shit. Lucy, do you say anything to get this reading from me? Um, no, I think I was just kind of watching your behavior because okay. you're saying weird things. Um, and once I feel like he's just hurt, I want to like take the end of the handkerchiefs that Regina is pulling out and just start like wrapping it around his head as we go. <laughs> so like handkerchief is coming out of the pocket. Regina's grabbing it. I'm wrapping the end. So we're just getting like this wrap going. Right. I'm going to go get a doctor. <laughs> uh, yes, a doctor, please. <laughs> oh, uh. Jimmy! Jimmy, oh, chat! Have you found my eye? The Jimmy, fucking cat! Jimmy, you make it to the cat with the bat <laughs> flapping against its mustache. Okay. Can I corner the cat? <laughs> oh, you can try anything. <laughs> I see where this is going. Roll to hex. <laughs> All right. Roll fighting brawl. <laughs> well, which which one? Either um, one. Actually, do a fighting brawl. Okay. All right. I finally rolled good. Uh, I got 30 out of 65, which is a hard success. Okay. Yeah, you definitely are able to corner the cat and scoop it up. It does try to get away, but you are able to subdue it. All right, can I get, can I fish the thing out of its mouth? Do you want to? <laughs> can I just grab it by the bat wings? You can try anything. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll so just, I'll do that. You, you pull it from the, from the mouth of, excuse me, you pull it from the mouth of the cat and there's just a wing. I mean, it's a bat, so it's not like hearty. <laughs> Okay, I'll I'll grab the other bat wing too, and then I'll put the cat down. <laughs> okay, there does seem to be some remaining, like bit of head or body that was there. Ugh. I'll, I'm just gonna take the bat wings back to the okay. other room. Uh, Thurston, Jimmy brings back your what you know to be your eye, uh, completely chewed up and and gross it looks like they're it it looks like bat guts but you know that it's your eye Uh, jimmy it looks like bat guts so here's what's left does it look like a bat like like the the part that is attached to the wing it does not look like an eyeball oh no it but it doesn't look recognizable it's it's mauled it's gross it's chewed up. It looks like a but it looks like it has connective fur tissue and like yeah, I wouldn't say it looks like it has fur, but it does look like it's connective tissue for sure. It's good. Does it have a bunch of flour on it? <laughs> oh, that's important. Not that I would notice, but <laughs> it it is a little grainy. Ooh, god damn it, man! Did you did you not fish out? 
the eye from the mouth of the cat. You just bring back the eye wings. The what? And that's where we're going to call it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Why? Why did I not spend the luck points? (laughs) God damn it. I'm like, sure, let's just go along with what V wants us to do. It's always horrific terror Mm -hmm. and horribleness. Why? (laughs) But you know what? At least it wasn't Steph's eye. Yeah, that's I, true. The entire Did time I, I was like, thank goodness. <laughs> not me. Yes, it, is, it is my turn. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are intact. Um, I was thinking with the whole flower on it thing that there was a cocaine bat joke in there somewhere. <laughs> 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 I was I was waiting for Steph to just like uh say something like to like find out where I was mentally and I'd be like, God yeah. damn it, I don't need that kind of doctor. Not a shrink, I need a <laughs> medical doctor. <laughs> like, that would have been where I called it, that's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> oh god. Well, um that was amazing. Thank you all for Coming on this uh, imagination station uh, fever dream that I've had. Uh, really appreciate all of your yes ands. I I love all of you. Um, oh, Thurston the Beholder. <laughs> oh, oh no. uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's oh, good. Oh, God. Well, um, it has been great being here on the stream. For those of you that are listening in your earbuds, it has been great spending the day with you. Thank you so much. We hope that we've made today an awesome commute, an awesome day at work, or maybe an awesome way to fall asleep. Now, close your little eyes and say good night. Good night, Fred. Where can people find you? Well, if you want to catch me on the internet, you can find me at I Think I'm Fred. Mike, you can find me at One Gaming Lane. Steph, good night, sleep tight, and you can dream about finding me at Starlit Firefly. Susie, good night, don't let the bed bugs bite. Or do, if you're into that. And you can find me at Susie underscore Checky. And you can find me at Typical Veronica on anywhere the internet is selling your information to advertisers. And if you want to follow the uh, podcast, you can follow us at CAF Podcast. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. I'm always watching. This episode was edited by Steph Kingston. You can find her on Twitter at Steph O. Kingston. This episode was produced by me, Veronica. The intro was composed by Rob Anderson. You can find him on Twitter at Hey, it's Birdie. The voiceover in the introduction was provided by Rick Lee. You can find him on Twitter 